What's going on, guys? It's me. And JT, but you can call me Nick, and that's right, we're back. We're playing some more! Wait. Goosebumps, the game. That's right. Um, I think maybe. Not, not sure. Maybe this video could be the final video. Maybe. Okay? Mark my words, maybe. Oh, right, we're here still. Oh, here we go again. Alright, hopefully we can beat this. Jesus Christ, finally! You emerge from the corridors at the far end of the mall. You lean against the door, haggard breaths racking your te- racking your te- your chest. Jesus Christ, it's- oh, you're here. Okay, at least we made it out of there. Woo! That was tough. Okay, good, he's not here. Oh, yay! Oh, oh he's in the dinner! Um, can we get all the coins? Take all the money. Yum, yum, yum. Money, 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 money. Okay, now let's go play some arcade games, because why not? Um, let's play some ski ball. Um, can we use the money? On ticket slot. You could solve a lot of problems, but not this one. Wait, can we not play? S we have a high school prize tickets to pour out of the. Wait, can we not play? Wait, what? Why can't we? Can we not play it? Can we? Can we play? Oh, there we go. All right, let's go. Let's play some ski ball. Oh, 20. Okay, not bad. Let's go. And 20 again. Ah, uh, what about this lane? Ten, come on! Bull crap. Give me fifty, give me fifty. That's just stupid. Okay, what if I go out here? There we go! Fifty. You need to finish your game first, it's, it's too important. Oh! And the tickets will take those tickets. You tear your tickets out of the slot and take a moment to fold them up into a compact little pile. Let's play again! Because we need, we need to use it so we can get stuff. Like we need to get stuff for like you. You guys will see. Oh what? Wait, what was my strategy before? Didn't I put it here? And it will gone in the fifty. That's it. We're gonna go in there. All right, sick. So we will just keep doing that then. Yeah, boy. Oh, 32. Crap, that's not a lot. Um, how many? Let's go to the counter. 35. How many tickets do we have? 32, okay. Okay, we'll play one more time. And we'll get a perfect score. Sick. All right. 
try to escape all again. And last one. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Earth Geeks must go. Sick. Now we'll get the tickets. And now we'll go buy. Um. We'll go. Um. Use. On ticket box. Looks like you can afford toy jewelry. Take. Well, that's all we ca we have. So, that sucks. Well, there we go. Now, we got to go to the leprechaun, whatever the hell that guy is. Um, do we have what we need for him? Because we need a specific thing. Yeah, we have it. Um. Hello there, you. You, whatever your name is. Um, use it on you. Oh, hmm. No, no, I'm afraid that simply makes no sense, which means you must now face consequence. <laughs> oh, that wasn't right? Wait a minute, then. What do we use on him? We've got to use one of the things on him. I forget, I don't know what it is. What was the riddle? <laughs> uh, um... Transforms a sandwich from savory to sweet, but with that brand name is something you'd eat. Answer me the riddle, but don't be too hasty if you answer it wrong. <laughs> tasty. Um, I don't know. I don't know then. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Let me figure it out off camera. I was the jelly jam. The jelly jam. Uh huh. <laughs> well, there now you got it. Something I didn't expect. So congratulations, jelly jam is correct. Since he played by the rules, I should do the same. I'll leave you alone here, just as quick as I can. It was the Jelly Jam! Achievement unlocked deep in the jungle of retail. Hmm, cool. Achievement. Shoes, let's go over here. Alright, let's pick up. Rocks of, racks upon racks of shoes line the walls, and various displays scattered about. Definitely the shoe department. Alright, we'll take all the shoes we can. And this Brunnock, because why not? Take the shoes. Oh crap. I've got to take all the shoes quickly. Look, he's over there, guys. Uh, can I not take that? No. Um. Is there no, no other shoes I can take? I think that's all the shoes I can take, so I'll just, um. Get, get, get back out of here, because I don't want to, I don't want no trouble with that guy. Oh, come on! Why do you have to be wherever I need to go? Alright, we'll go back and then we'll go forward to see if he's... Oh, piece of crap, mate! Blocking my way to go everywhere. Leave me alone. Thank you, you're gone. Okay, good, he's gone, he's gone. Woman's move. Oh, what's this? He's up in front of a clothing display in the women's department. Three mannequins stand in raging odd poses. Can we take it? I reach up to take the mannequin and immediately realize something's not right. It's torso where you grabbed it. It swivels around 180 degrees, loosening your grip. Oh, what the hell? You look up to see its hands coming down at the base of your neck, which hurts considerably. The mannequin wraps its sp spindly limbs around your body and begins to squeeze and never stops that you're aware of. Jeez, that was a weird death. Imagine dying by a mannequin, eh? Um, is there anywhere else we can go here? I don't think there is. No, I think we can only go to the woman, so we'll go here. Oh, I'll take that. I'm gonna take as much stuff as we can. No, 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 I didn't mean to. Oh. Just peek underneath each door just in case something is lying and waiting to attack you. You don't see anything suspicious, but that doesn't mean you're safe. Jeans, can we door open? Ooh, receipt, take. You keep the receipt for future reference. Jeans, take. You snag the jeans out. Oh my god, go away! Dolent, yep. Yeah. Oh crap, that looks nice. What the hell? Why did I just hear a knock? Was that in the game? What do we 
don't, we're stuck. Oh, Jesus. Um, fitting room, makeup, makeup. Um, go over to the fitting room. Oh, we just went here. Women's move. Um, I think we're supposed to dress these things up. Sack photo. You sack photo on coins. Oh no, I just want to look at it. Look. A photograph of a suspected shoplifter who's wearing a nice hat but cheap looking jewelry. That's a... Wait, where's that? That's the, um... That's the sun hurt. Use. Wait, what position is she in? Is there like... She's like that. Kinda looks like... So we'll use that on... No, we can't. On mannequin. It, we can't put it on the mannequin? Join... Maybe it's this mannequin then. Can we put the dresses on the mannequin? What dress is that girl wearing? She's wearing... I think she's wearing this. Hold on guys, let me figure out what to do, because I think we need to dress the mannequins up. I know that sounds weird, but we have to do it. Put the candy bag use. 7.30, great. You place your candy bag on the scale and wait. The scale sinks further into the counter with a click. A seemingly solid wall of candy store opens, revealing a doorway. Um, Jim and unlocked, are you terrified yet? Door, move. Still in your nerves, you press on the bookstore and whatever waits beyond. Bookstores ba ba bathed in darkness. There's a sense of absence that your mind races to drift. Tell me. The figure on the floor looks like a ventriloquist puppet. Is it slappy? Oh! No, this puppet has different hair and everything. We're slappy. Look. A number of Goosebumps books lie, discarded in a pile on the floor. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Slappy had to scare me! You're not Stein! What do you think you're doing here? Tricky. The question, the question is, what do you think you're doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm releasing the most dangerous creatures from our Stein's books to lure him into a trap that spells his certain doom! I'll stop you. Not if I have anything to say about it. Kid, you need my book to do that. And you don't got it. Otherwise, you wouldn't let me do this. Oh, crap! With possible speed, Slappy lunges for you, for your throat. His tiny wooden fingers crack, clack together as he ushers you to an eternal rest. Okay, so apparently, guys, we... I think we have to, like... Okay, yeah, the door's still open. So, I did the candy thing where we had to get certain bits of candy and put it in there. And so now, I think we have to go dress the mannequins. Excuse me, and then, like... I think we need to do, we need to at least dress the mannequins, because I know, oh, wait a minute. Crap, I need to go get my phone, I left it at the, um, the, the booth box. Crap, oh, no, 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 we can't leave my phone. Please tell me no one stole my phone. Oh, come on. Oh, wait a minute, where am I going? That's not where my phone is. My phone's back here. My phone's in the food court. It better be fully charged over there my phone oh thank god it's still here okay let's get it what how is it not fully charged you unhook your phone and slip it into your pocket you feel whole again how how is my phone not charged can someone explain that please ah oh, so good i took one of the mannequins and i put it here and we have to dress it up now we're gonna make it look like this person a photograph of a suspected shoplifter who's wearing a nice hat but cheap looking jewelry. So then, do we get the hat? It's on the mannequin. You pop the hat on the. There we go. That looks like that. Yeah, that looks like that hat. Then we've got to put this jewelry here. And then we can put the red dress. Is that starting to look like her? Or maybe do I have to put the green outfit? No, 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 no. 
No, that's not that's not it. No, no, no. We're gonna take that off. Oh no, I didn't mean to take everything off. I just meant to took one thing off, not everything. Then we'll put the red dress on. What shoes would she be wearing? Would she be wearing Hmm Okay guys, I just went to go grab some toffee or whatever the hell this was and then this happened. You struggle but it's no use. The creature doesn't bite you but it just keeps sucking until there's nothing left. I don't know why that happened, but I just tried to grab something and then that happened. Okay, so apparently we need um some fairy floss for the hair. I'll just take all of it, because I'm naughty. I'll take all of that stuff. Okay, that should be enough. Um, okay, now we gotta go to the girl. Or the mannequin, I should say. It's not actually a girl, it's a mannequin. And then we've gotta go over here. She should, she should, yep. Okay, now we gotta use the green candy. Whatever. Place cotton candy on the mannequin's head to serve as a makeshift wig. Perfect! Now do we go down here? With the mannequin set, you sneak away and hide. Sure enough, after a few minutes, the security guard rushes past. Success! That should keep you busy for a while. Now you're free to explore. Alright, perfect. Achievement unlocked. The monster who cried girl. Hmm. Alright, perfect. Now we need to go over and call... Excuse me. I think we need to call, um... We have to call someone, apparently. So he should be distracted now, so... Phone book. Um, Gulberg, memorize. For, wait, that just said Arrow Stein. Call. Cool. Pick up the phone and hold it to your ear. Nothing. You need to feed coins in. The, yeah, no crap. I'm so stupid. Where are the coins that I have? Use on paper. You slide a few coins into the slot. They make a very satisfying cloud as they disappear. Wait, what? Can we not? You can actually use the phone now, you only need to pay once. Oh, I already called. You dial the number, you memorize them, wait as it rings, and rings and rings. Someone picks up after a long silence, they speak with obvious impatience. Um, what could be a voice for this? Um, a grown up voice. Yes. Uh, yes, this is NJT, I'm looking for Arl Stein. Another pause, longer this time. Never heard of him. He's an author, you explain. He wrote those Goosebumps books everyone likes. Everyone likes them? He asks. So they're good? You find them scary? The man on the other end of the line seems to know more about Goosebumps than he let on. They're the scariest! You lay it on th you lay it on thick, hoping your hunch about this number was correct. My favorite. Uh, oh, uh, hold on. There's, there's rustling on the other end. Someone here wants to talk to you. Um, what's a good old Stein voice? Um, how, how, I don't know. I'm just gonna do like a random voice. He's from Ohio, so I don't, I don't know. This is Arl Stein, Master of Horror, says an identical sounding voice. Your NJT, was it? It's definitely been Arl Stein the entire call. That's right. Sorry, sir, but we don't have a lot of time. Slappy is here and Slippy, remember from the last episode? Slappy, why didn't you say so? He's serious. How did you, how did he get free? Never mind. Where are you? Uh, the town center Galleria. You. You wonder if he'll need the address. I. Okay, good. Now listen. You hear a car door open and shut on the other end. You must keep Slappy distracted. Do you understand? It's important. The car starts. Do whatever it takes to keep him busy. You can do this, NJT. After a beat, he adds, I'll be there as soon as possible. Arlstein hangs up abruptly and the line goes dead. Achievement unlocked. It came from Ohio. As I was saying, Ohio, where he comes from. Alright, now we gotta go to Slippy now. Alright, let's go! Let's do this, boys and girls, whoever's watching. Candy shop. Candy shop! A secret passage to the bookstore is open in here. Yeah, don't we already know that already? Um, I'm gonna save now just because, why not? This is getting good. Alright, let's go. Door. Still. Okay, Slappy's gonna scare me again, so. I'm not gonna- oh yeah, I got chocolate because I'm fat, remember guys? I always eat chocolate. I'm gonna get jump scared again, watch. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna- I'm gonna scream like a little baby. Yeah, we look at the dummy. Yeah, but then he does that weird thing. 
And then we look at the Goosebumps box. And then, doesn't he jump out? <laughs> there we go. I'm so glad you can make it. Wait. We already saw this. My name's NJT. Mine's Slappy. And you aren't all who I was expecting. Play on. Oh, really? Who are you waiting for, exactly? A man named Arl Stein. My papa might say. Nod. Yeah, I spend a lot of time waiting for my dad too. He works a lot. Is your dad so ashamed of that he locks you away inside a book, never to see the outside world? Um... Antagonize. I've never done anything to deserve that, so I wouldn't know. I'm not a monster. I'm only doing what he wrote me to do. Terrorize the people who hurt him. That's why I exist. Results. Yeah, like you did in all those books on the floor. Where'd you get. Where did you. When. Where did you. Where you got the free time and time again? Those didn't work out so well, unfortunately. Turns out the original manuscripts created monsters, as you saw from the poor old Wally Wood in the corner. You that guy? That wasn't obvious. Millions of kids read these books, and none of them get attacked by monsters. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, of course a dumb kid can't understand where I'm coming from. Why am I wasting my time? Um, reason. Think about it, Slappy. You could have taken me out ten times over. Maybe there's some good in you, yet. Yeah. You're throwing your voice at the wrong puppet. I'm evil through and through! Um, jokey. Ah, well then, Mr. Slappy. Say you're so evil. How evil are you? Blah, blah, blah. This has gone on long enough, and I have important things to do. It's time to say goodnight. Oh, great! Slappy lunges towards you, determined to put your lights out. Fight back. You stand on ground, bringing your arms forward, ready to, for attack. You aren't sure how to fight an evil dummy, but what choice do you have? Just as Slappy reaches striking distance, a voice booms through the storm and, and stops the puppet in his tracks. Not so fast. Stein! What? But how? <laughs> NJT filled me in with, on your little plan. It's impressive, but unfortunately not impressive enough. No, it's too early. Nothing's ready yet. Y you gotta give me a redo! You've done more than enough damage for one day, Slappy. It's time to go back in the book. No! You can't do this! You created me! Why do you do that just to hide me away? Like some mistake! I'm not a mistake! My books were meant to entertain kids. That's why your monsters are for. Oh! The only mistake was letting you out into the world where you could hurt people. You will get this, Papa! Next time I won't be playing a game! Next time, Sabi will be the Puppet Master! Shut up and get in the book! Woo! Oh, it's even unlocked. Not the living dummies. Something. Not the living dummies. Not all. Oh! You're yeah, our time. The one and only. Thanks for distracting me, Slappy. Oh, you were listening? You had to make an entrance. Good, good is all about timing. And that's... Oh. Every hour Stein types come to life, so he keeps them locked inside a special manuscript. But Slappy had gotten loose and released the rest of the monsters as well. We followed Mr. Stein around the town as he trapped each monster inside the book. It took most of the evening, but after the final call, it was time to say goodbye. Stein. Thanks again for your help, but I must I must be going. My daughter and I need to... Um, daughter? Madison? Like in Delaware? Madison? Uh, I said nothing. Forget everything you heard. <laughs> Look at his face. Time to go. Entity. Hey, Mom. It's so late. Chad and I were about to head home. Oh, you bet you were. You better get back here this minute. Uh, we had the craziest day. You won't believe... Save it! I don't want any excuses. I want to know what on earth you did to the house. 
I mean, honestly, NJT, I expect this kind of thing from Chad, but my goodness, everything's on the floor. You left the fridge open. I can't even talk about upstairs. I'm so angry. Just wait until your father gets home. We're going to have a serious talk about video game pri privileges. Ah. Uh. What a game. What a game. That was a really good game. I enjoyed that. That was worth it. Mm. That was a great game. That was really good. I love that. Also, I know Benji plays you love it too because you liked um the series. From what from Ben told me you liked the series, so thanks Ben. What a good game. This was a fun game to play, guys. I really enjoyed this. You know, whenever I do a video game series, a new series, and the game ends, I don't get sad, but like, I, I'm like, like, you know, I want to play more because it's such a good game. Like, Hello Puppets, that should have been a bigger game. I mean, it was, you know, it was a big price for about an hour and 30 minutes game. They could have done more with it. This game was a good, a good puzzle, a good puzzle game. I enjoyed it. It was really good. Um, the reason I got it was because I remember when I was back when I was a little bit younger than I was now. I used to watch this guy um, do YouTube videos on the Goosebumps game. And he was my guide. That YouTuber, I forget his name. But um, he was my guide throughout this series. Like, he wasn't like telling me what to do, but like, I watched his videos and that showed me what to do. So, <coughs> excuse me. I got it off him. Yeah. It was a great game. I love this game. It was really good. Comment down below if you guys like this game, because it was a pretty cool game. It was similar to Day Shift at Freddy. It's like the same style, not like the same genre. Well, it was horror, yeah, but it was similar to Day Shift at Freddy's. Like it was a point-and-click game. You grab items, you know. So it's like that, pretty much. But it was—it wasn't, you know. You guys get what I'm saying. So yeah, it was a really good game, um, based on Scholastic book series Goosebumps written by Aro Style. Special thanks, um, you know, all those... Jeez, that's a lot of people. Yeah, I really enjoyed that game. Please leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this game. And, yeah, because I, I really like the all and all the way forward stuff. Thanks for playing! Goosebumps, Scholastic Inc. Movie 2015. Yeah, this was sort of based on the movie that came out in 2015. That was a good movie. If you haven't checked it out, if you like, if you like, um, if you like watching kids' movies that are, you know, that are, that you can watch and stuff, Goosebumps is a good game. Oh, a good movie. Oh! Oh! Sequel? Nah. That, well, that hasn't been a sequel. This game came out in 2015, too, so I'm five years late. <laughs> Well, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this series. I really did. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, guys.